People have asked my husband, Murray, and me, why do we want to come to Bali? Why do we want to have this sabbatical adventure following the yes experience in Bali for nine months? Well, that's easy to answer in some ways and not so easy in other ways. But I thought a really good way to help people understand why Bali is so appealing to us is to tell you what happened on my 60th birthday here, September 23rd, 2011. The first few days we were here in Bali, we stayed in a hotel, little hotel called Katut's Place, because Murray wanted to be close enough to walk to the town of Ubud, which is the arts and cultural center of Bali. It turned out to not be a great place for me because the walking was a bit hazardous, but we had a room, very nice room, with a bathtub and overlooking the river. And it was just peaceful and the sound of the river. It was really lovely for about $50 a night. In front of our hotel, one time when we were walking to Ubud, we met a man named Made, uh, which is what you name the second child, Made. And he had motorcycles to rent and when we told him we were looking for a villa he told us that one of his relatives was had a villa for sale just up the road so on my birthday Murray had an appointment to go see it so he went in the morning and uh, he liked it and so I got a ride we had moved to a different hotel Malati Cottages which is where I've stayed every time I've come to Bali and uh so I went to the the desk and I asked if someone could help me get to uh, this villa. So one of the waiters here, his name is um, Dewa, and I've known him forever. And he's a father of two young children, a, a new baby and a two two year seven month old. He volunteered to give me a ride, so I just hopped on the back of his motor scooter, and he gave me a ride. Uh, for free, just, just, you know, for you, for you, nothing, kind of a thing. So we get there, and uh, it's a beautiful, it's a new building, and it has two master bedroom suites with air conditioning, and then this big, wonderful kitchen, open air eating area, and a plunge pool. There's a temple next door, uh, rice fields, palm trees. It's just really gorgeous. So when I tell the the owner that it's my birthday, he says, oh, please, may we give you a dinner tonight here? And please, would you like to stay here uh, tonight for free, two nights if you would like, uh, to see if you like it? They want to lease the villa for 19 years. And if we had done that, it would have been about uh, $5,000 a year um, to do. So anyway, we say yes, and, and they we, we plan. So we come back in the evening, and I'm expecting, because I've been to dinner at Balinese Homes before, and it's wonderful, and what a gift. And the usually it's rice and vegetables and chicken or maybe some fish or something, and just very sweet, very simple, delicious food. But when we get there, as it turns out, Two of the relatives, two of the young men, work at a restaurant, an up, upper scale restaurant, and one is a bartender and one is a one of the chefs, and he has prepared this feast, and they've invited the neighbors and other relatives. So I don't know, there were a total of about twelve of us, I think, and the temple next door is having its Friday night ceremony and its uh, bamboo instruments. It sounds like a Marachi band and. Just, it's just wonderful. It's magical. And so there's this feast of chicken avocado salad. That doesn't even begin to describe how delicious it was. When I got there, uh, Yan, the chef, uh, who also told us that he would be glad to come and cook for a private party if we wanted to have him do that. So he gives me a sample of the salad, and all I can say is, wow, wow. It was just, it was one of the best things I've ever eaten. It was so good. 
And there's that, and then there's there's tuna steaks, and there's chicken with this tomato, delicious tomato sauce, and potato wedges with garlic on them, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something. And then for dessert, fruit and yogurt, just this huge feast. And they did all the cooking, they did all the serving, they did all the cleaning, they wouldn't let us help. And the owner, Komin, had... Put, made three different uh, flower arrangements, huge, three-foot-tall, beautiful flower arrangements, and put candles all around the pool. And then another relative makes these wonderful uh, lanterns sculpted out of y- uh, metal and uh, puffer fish and birds and, you know, peacocks. I mean, just all around. I mean... I felt so loved and celebrated. And these were people we'd met that day. And it was full of laughter and stories. And and Putu, the bartender at the restaurant, 22 years old, his English was very good. And he was telling us he'd had a girlfriend for six years and she wanted to get married. And a lot of Balinese get married, MBA, married by accident because the woman gets pregnant and, and his girlfriend wasn't pregnant yet <laughs> and he showed us the dragon tattoo that he, a huge dragon tattoo on his back that he had and he said in Bali, in Bali it would make him look like a criminal but he really liked it his girlfriend didn't like it she didn't speak to him to, for a week after he got this tattoo I don't know if this is giving you a sense of, of just and we had our friend Sophia come and so it was all Balinese and, and, there, and Murray and me and our friend Sophia and it was just It was so magical, and then we stayed there that night, and it's just incredible. And we really seriously entertained the idea of leasing this, but we decided, we were advised that we really need to be in Bali longer. We need to see more places. We need to live in the place that we lease, you know, for at least six months to see if we really like the area, and that that made all kinds of sense. So what we've decided to do is at Malati Cottages, where I've always stayed, they have two houses, one air-conditioned, one not. We're, we're getting the not air-conditioned one. But it's wonderful. Uh, one big, huge bedroom, a little bedroom with a single bed, and a huge outdoor uh, area with a kitchen and, and couches and, and then a little yard. And it's, and it's in its own uh, separate compound, so it's full of privacy. And we get to have breakfast here at Malati every morning and and people from all over the world so we can meet people and a wonderful pool wonderful pool uh, din- uh, lunch and dinner available here at this very a little money and we're going to have our own kitchen so we can cook our own meals so we are here until the end of february for sure because that's when our ticket home is to meet the new grandbaby carter um but who knows what's going to happen? We're following the yes. We're listening. Already magic has happened. I've been asked to speak and sing at Rotary. We met an author from <laughs> for the Writers' Festival, an author from Germany who's written books about, uh, he knew Sukarno, and he's writing a book right now about how the Jews who tried to escape uh, to Indonesia were imprisoned. I mean, it's just, my husband's Jewish. This is just, we went. It, this was when we were salsa dancing uh, at this local gorgeous restaurant where a um, wonderful salsa band and this one young Balinese man uh, asked me to dance. Wonderful dancer. And in one dance, he almost taught me completely how to at least look respectable salsa dancing because he was one of those dancers who makes anybody look good. Oh, my God. It, it made my day. I don't, I don't know that it made his. Murray said he was smiling.